Hello everyone, welcome. Cervical mucus is vital for conception as it allows and makes it easier for the sperm to travel all the way up to the fallopian tubes where conception happens and also it nourishes the sperm while they are waiting for ovulation for the egg to be released. So during the fertile window we want to make plenty of cervical mucus and also the closer you are to ovulation its quality is changing so you will see it gets more watery ideally if the quality is good stretchy more transparent maybe a little bit like egg white consistency so we want to see more of the mucus after this practice and also of better quality so join me today to work on your cervical mucus and we will start lying down on our backs so first invitation for the body to move and open you can lie down on your back bend the knees and drop the knees from side to side for some lower back release but also to invite the hips to start opening and releasing movement and especially bringing the blood flow all the way down to the lower body to the reproductive organs can really help with the cervical mucus production there are also some lifestyle changes you can do some diet uh, tips diet changes so if you want to maybe find more support or see more tips on how to work on your cervical mucus quality and quantity you can head to my Instagram account where I share a lot on this topic. I will make sure to put the link to my Instagram down below in the notes. Finish your movement and come back to center. Keep the knees bent. Bring the feet closer to your butt, to your hips. Rest your arms alongside your body. Coming into bridge pose. So on the inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up. Keep pressing into the feet. And exhale, release. Inhale, all the way up. Squeeze the thighs, the knees together so they are not dropping to the sides. And exhale. And we will continue like this just follow your own breath your own pace nothing rushed Two more like this. And release. Open your knees to the side and bring them closer to your armpits. You can stay here if it's already enough of a stretch or you can grab the toes with your two-piece fingers and come into the full happy baby pose. Sway from side to side. And then find some stillness in the pose. Make sure you are not tensing up your upper body, no tension in the neck, the shoulders. And 
and release the hold of the feet bring the feet back down onto the mat roll onto your right side and come all the way up coming into yogi squat next malasana so come onto your feet a bit wider than your hips the heels are in toes out you can stay on your toes or you can drop both feet all the way down to the ground whatever is accessible and then bring your hands to the front of the heart close your eyes once you find your position and take a moment to notice your breath how it flows today use the elbows to open the knees to the sides i really love this pose as it is excellent to bring the blood flow down to the reproductive organs to open the lower body And towards the end of the practice, we will come into this pose once more. Don't forget to breathe in and out through the nose. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And take a few more breaths. Open your eyes, put your hands in front of you, the left foot stays as it is and extend the right leg to the side, flex the right foot pointing towards the ceiling. Skandasana. And we will be moving from left to right, so coming first to the right side, doing the same, extending the left leg this time, flexing the left foot. Inhale and on the exhale come to the left coming back to the right and we will repeat one on each side maybe you can bring the hands up towards your heart or keep them down And now start coming all the way up through the center, still keeping the heels in, toes out, and come all the way up to stand, place your hands onto your hips, and bend the knees for quite a wide squat, goddess pose. Staying here for a few breaths, it's a strong pose, you will feel it, I do already. And we will add some motion so on the inhale straighten the legs bring the arms up exhale bend the knees lower the arms inhale all the way up exhale release two more like this Place your hands back onto the hips and straighten the legs. Narrow your feet so they are now parallel to the shoulder edges of the mat. Start hinging your upper body forward. And then you can use the hands for support to bring them down onto the mat. Coming into wide-legged forward fold, stretching into the back side of the legs. But also into the spine, the neck. Make sure that your head is really heavy so you can relax your neck. Mm -hmm. 
start bringing your hands to the left foot turn the left foot so it faces the front of the mat frame your left foot with your hands and bring the left foot all the way back to plank lower your knees lower your belly inhale for cobra and exhale find your first downward facing dog it is our first downward facing dog today so any movement that feels good here you can paddle the feet or not with your head try to feel what you need today then find some stillness keep pressing the chest towards your thighs and slowly walk your feet to meet the hands in front of the mat inhale halfway lift flat back exhale fold down inhale come all the way up to stand arms up exhale hands to the front of the heart and we will do one sun salutation to get a little bit warmed up even more so inhale arms up exhale fall down halfway lift flat back exhale come into plank lower your knees come all the way down onto your belly inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog and lower your knees onto the mat once more just like promised coming into malasana so the heels are in toes out any version that works for you once you find the pose close your eyes and notice how your breath is flowing now compared to the beginning of the practice probably it is a bit faster We just need to get the body moving for seeing more of the cervical mucus. It's really movement is really one of the vital things for seeing more and to improve its quantity. I'm really curious to know if you see more of the mucus after this practice so if you have the time let me know in the comments that would be great to hear slow down your breathing deep breaths nothing shallow you can use this time also to thank yourself for practicing taking the time to nourish your body to work on your fertility you should be proud of yourself Let's come out of the pose and take a seat. Any that is comfortable to you. Bring the hands to touch in front of the heart once more. And I thank you that you spent the time with me. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. So go check it out and uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know how it went for you. 
And of course, I wish you the best of luck on your fertility journey. See you soon. Bye.